Have you ever 3D printed something that looks great upon first glance, but when you take a closer look, you notice that there's a corner that's warped up on the bottom? This is called warping, and it can ruin your print and lead to other more severe problems. I'm Stephen McCulloch from 3DQ, and today is the seventh out of 14 on our video series detailing the 14 different failure modes of Quinley Vision, our 3D printer AI supervisor. And today I'll talk about warping. In this video, I'll talk about what warping is, how Quinley Vision detects warping, and what you can do to prevent warping from happening on your 3D prints. So, well, what is warping? We identify warping by looking at the print, and if there's a corner that's peeling up, then we can say that the print is warping. Sometimes warping can be hard to see until after a print is finished, and in minor cases, it'll just show up as a slight curve on the bottom surface of a print. Uh, but in more severe cases, it is very obvious and can cause all kinds of different problems. So when Quinley Vision looks for warping, it looks for a few different criteria. Quinley Vision looks for when layer lines are not planar, so if there's any sort of curling going on, then it will know that those layers are not flat, they are going in some weird direction, so it considers that as a warping problem. Quinley Vision also looks for shadows on the bottom surface of your part. Usually shadows will show up when things start warping, uh, but they don't usually exist on good 3D prints. So Quinley Vision doesn't just look at images one by one. It scans across multiple images to find change over time. So if the curling is minor in the beginning, but more severe after a few minutes, then it'll detect that and consider it warping. So why does warping occur in the first place? Well, the main principle behind warping is that material shrinks when it cools down. So the bottom of your print is quite warm because the bed is heated, but then the upper layers, they're a bit cooler because they're not touching the bed. And so this difference in temperature causes forces that causes the top to contract, and that causes the bottom to peel up. Now, some things that can contribute to warping are having the wrong bed temperature. So the best thing to do is just check your material and make sure that you're using the correct bed temperature. Other things that can contribute are things like drafts in the room. So if there's wind or an open window next to your printer, that can contribute to warping. Also, just an unlevel bed can cause warping. Uh, if one area of your print is too far away from the bed, then it won't be adhered very well, and that corner will likely warp up. So in minor cases, warping will leave the bottom surface of your print slightly curved. And if your part isn't really meant to be used for anything fancy, then that might just be fine. But if your part needs tight tolerances, for example, then having a warped bottom will be unacceptable. In more severe cases, then the warping can cause worse issues, such as a layer shift or a complete part detach. And I've covered layer shifts and part detaches in previous videos, so check them out if that's what's happening to you. So here's some things you can do to prevent warping from happening in your 3D prints. First thing to check is your bed level, make sure it's flat, check your Z offset, make sure your nozzle isn't too far or too close to the bed. Next thing to look at is your first layer settings, so make sure that your print is moving very slowly on the first layer, and your first layer line width and layer height are quite thick, so that your print sticks very well. Next thing to check is your bed temperature, so just make sure the bed temperature is correct for the material you're using, and most filament will have the bed temperature that the manufacturer recommends just printed on the label. Also, some people benefit from having their 3D printer in an enclosure, and this avoids drafts from causing unwanted cooling on your print. On the design side, you want to avoid prints with sharp corners on the first layer. Finally, your slicer settings can also contribute to warping. So some things you can do, in some slicers, it lets you print the first few layers slowly instead of just the first layer. So I would recommend printing maybe the first two or three layers slower than the rest, and that just makes sure that they're all printed with a very even flow rate. And if those other solutions aren't working out for you, you can always use a brim or a raft just to get that first layer stuck down really, really well. So if you want to see how Quinley Vision detects warping and 13 other kinds of 3D printing failures, check out our new interactive game called 3D Printal. Find the print failures and see how you compare to Quinley Vision and other players. And that's all for today, so thanks for watching. Drop a like and hit subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you in the next video.